So today I'm going to show you the basic anatomy of the spina palatine artery. So basically how one can find the artery in cases of severe uncontrolled nasal epistaxis and also in cases of where the patient is having severe nasal allergies where you're going to modify and alter the autonomic nervous system so as the patient does not have nasal rhinorrhea after surgery. So where you can just, you know, cauterize the posterior superior spina palatine nerves and the nasal palatine nerve, that's called as basically a neurectomy. So this is a patient's right nasal cavity. That's the phrase elevator. Now, the first things first, the first step would be now, as you can see, I'm trying to medialize the middle turbinate, which was initially kind of lateralized. So I'm trying to gently put pressure. You can see the direction of my phrase. Uh, this procedure is called as microfracture of the middle turbinate. It's going to stabilize the middle turbinate medially. And so it's going to help me visualize the structures in the middle meatus much more efficiently. So you can see a huge bullet modalis in the center right there. Now I'm going to take my ball probe and I'm going to show you the anatomy as well. That's the bullet modalis. So that's my ball probe and that's the space behind the ancinet where you're supposed to go and open the maxilla. That's the ancinet. So directly I'm going to take my uh, thick curved maxillary suction instead of the ostium interim backbiting forceps and directly I'm going to puncture into the maxillary sinus behind the ancinet. So my suction is in the sinus right now and now I'm going to break the ancinet in the lower vertical half. And then with gentle inward and downward pressure, I'm going to remove the horizontal process of the ancinid. Little bit of oozing can happen. Nothing to worry about. You can see actually, I can, I can actually see the opening in the maxilla right now. Little bit of mucosa. I'm going to help. Uh, I'm going to remove with my upwards leg sleep. You can see the posterior wall of the maxillary sinus beautifully seen right now. A little bit of ooze is going to happen. The same thing is going to happen in case of a nasal epistaxis. A little bit of decongestion, compression with a piece of net cell. So the basic aim is to visualize the posterior wall of the maxilla, as you can see right now, because we all know behind the posterior wall of the maxilla, the spina palatine artery runs horizontally and runs medially. Now that's the phrase. This is the perpendicular plate of the palatine bone and I'm trying to elevate the mucosal layer on the lateral nasal wall. And I'm going to go behind, keep going to, I'm going to keep going posteriorly. Little bit of decongestion. You can see, you can, you can actually see the perpendicular plate of the palatine bone behind. And in a little while, I'm going to show you the crista ethmoidalis. That's a bony projection. So a spina palatine artery runs submucosally. We have to elevate the mucosa in order to elevate and expose. See, there you can see that's the crista ethmoidalis. I'm going to show you with my ball probe. Exactly posterior and inferiorly, we can see the spina palatine canal and the vessel. That's the artery running through it. So once you locate that, you can take your gun cautery or long bipolar forceps. That's the crista et moralis. You can see the bony projection right there. That's the crista et moralis. And exactly behind that, you can actually see a spina palatine artery. So that is how you, you find the spina palatine artery and catch hold of it and cauterize that. That's the crista et moralis. And exactly behind and inferior to that is the spina palatine canal and the spina palatine artery.